and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur, and today, guys, we are going to be working on our bird pen. But first, I want to catch up from last episode. I did a little stuff off camera. I uh, just placed down some benches, but you guys can see we placed some fences. Or not some fences, we've got our ramp up, we've got our stairway to the basement, some tables have been placed. We've got some benches out here to look out onto our little scene here. If you guys can see, we can look out onto our beautiful catwalk and all that stuff. We've done a lot of work there. On those little things but what I did do is I went ahead and placed the foundation and actually got us an RG so I'll just go ahead and jump outside you guys can see beautiful new RG it was a 145 tame so let's go ahead head out here uh, and those of you who watched my video on ramps you guys can see that we have our new ramp put up and everything but my bird pen is gonna be over here I wanted to get one started we're gonna do this kind of in a, in a very different way so I placed down a couple things uh, one of which is actually the foundation uh, this foundation was not the easiest thing to place but I got it up and running and it's gonna be nice and big if you guys see I've kind of got a mix of triangles and I've got some ceilings right here these stone ceiling or not ceilings foundation some of them are ceilings because there's parts underneath that you can't place on it's really goofy uh, but there's a foundation so there's just squares and then there's triangles as you guys can see running throughout but it's a nice little stone structure I've got some foundation stacked on here but overall so we're gonna make this kind of a five high bird pen the reason I've got these square ones is I'm gonna have behemoth hatch frames on top of this so that we can get our quetzals in and out of so we'll be able to get quetzals in and out of these we'll have some nice dino gates on the side and then we'll put some nice regular dino gate or regular doors right here and everything so i've got kind of a plan in my head we're going to be doing this out of glass wood uh, there will be no more stone other than the base foundation you guys see right here this will be the end of the stone after this it's going to be all glass and wood i'm really hoping it's going to turn out pretty good so we'll see how it ends up here in a little bit uh, but let's just go ahead and jump uh, right to building. So basically, first things first is I'm going to make two little doors right here. We're going to have to put some ramps down and stuff eventually. And then we're just going to go ahead and slap that little baby on there. So that is five high. It's one of those things I do love about this piece of thing. So then we're going to place a glass window right there. Um, and we can make it however we want. You guys can see it's kind of cool how it looks on those things. I just realized I might not be able to get back up here now. Yes, we made it. Uh, you can also change the opacity, just so those of you who've never seen this before. Um, where I'm going to do it backwards so you guys can see it. Uh, if you guys see, then you can kind of stick your head out here and I should be able to see it there. It's fully blacked out, so you can't see what's inside of it, but from the outside or from the inside, it looks like it's perfectly glass. It's really nice. So um, now I'm going to place, uh, you guys can see I've got some fence foundations down to mark where I'm going to be placing our dino gates. And that's where we're going to be placing those, so I'm not too worried about those in general. So we'll just go ahead, uh, and we're going to go ahead and continue to build here. Um, now, I am going to be placing a uh, wall up there. I apologize. Um, let's just go ahead and jump up and place a wall. So we're just going to place it right there like that. And then we're going to place a nice triangle ceiling up to these things, as I said. Then we're going to have those gates and stuff. It should be really cool. Um, I'm hoping so. Basically now we're gonna have to figure out how we want to place our doors and everything So I'm gonna go ahead and do this stuff real quick now I'm not gonna place anything above this is five high doors are for reason being it's gonna be metal behemoth or metal guy gates in there I think the metal might work better. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep those or if I just want to go with I might just go with regular door um, Regular wood ones, I haven't fully decided yet. We're gonna kinda of see how this ends up. But uh, the biggest thing we're gonna have an issue with coming in here is going to be the fact that we're gonna to need to place down some more glass structures on here to try to figure out how we're gonna build these things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place some of the stuff on here like this, just like that. And you guys can see, then we can just place our wooden walls and kind of give it a nice little outline. And it gives us a nice metal looking structure that you guys can kind of see here and we're going to place it I want the wood facing out on these I think this time we're going to do the nice wood instead of reversed I think it's going to work out really really well and we're going to do the same thing on this opposite side and from here it's going to be kind of placing some of these wood tall ones versus the actual ones for the glass just like this and then we'll place some pieces up here now I don't know if I have 100% of all the resources on me right now or all the pieces I've got some of them building still but I think overall it's gonna look very nice you guys can see how it's gonna look out you're gonna have this nice Avery looking type of thing uh, that you would see at like a zoo or something like that so uh, I think it's gonna turn out pretty cool I'm hoping we'll see uh, we won't know until we start to put the structure together I think the metal and the wood kind of work well together kind of if that makes any sense I think especially from the backside it's gonna look really cool 
lock this stuff out. So I was going back up and you guys can kind of see what that's going to end up like. And then we'll go ahead and place like doors in here. I am placing some glass doors, but I'm going to make them opaque from the one side. So we're going to change the transparency one way uh, in to out. So hit update, done. There you go. And we'll do this one the same way once we get it door picked there we go change transparency one day into out update and i'll do all this stuff before i but that's what we're gonna have it look like it's gonna be nice metal with the, the nice non-opaque windows but then when you look from the inside it looks like it's like almost open so I, I really think these things are really cool so we'll go ahead and continue to build that stuff we're gonna build the roof out of straight glass and metal so you will not see any more wood after the side the last the glass is just gonna be straight glass but it's gonna be a transparent so we got a lot of updating to do but as I said that's what my plan is for this I've still got another 10 of these glass windows and I obviously got to stick some over on this side too so we can go ahead but I am not going to be placing doors on this side just for those who are wondering the reason is is because that's really just a cliff off to the edge and it's never gonna end very well for us so we don't want to do that too far so basically that's gonna be the last one I'm gonna place on this side technically for the windows looking out over this and then after that it's gonna be about figure out where I'm going to put the last uh, sets of windows here because I don't want to over window it. That was the biggest thing is I wanted it to still look like a, a structure and not just this big giant glass structure, which we, I do plan on doing with our greenhouse and all that stuff. But I think overall this looks really nice. It's going to look cool. This is how tall it will be. As I said, we're going to do some sloped roofs and stuff like that. And it's going to, I think it's going to turn out really nifty. So we'll go ahead and complete this. I'm going to start working on this and continuing to work on this structure that you guys see here. And we'll see how it ends up for everything that we've got going on it. But as I said, I will see you guys back here in a minute. Once we've got these walls up, we'll start working on the ceiling and it should be a lot of fun. So we'll see you guys here in a minute. Hello and welcome back everyone. So we are up here on the roof. Uh, we finished all of the sides. We've got them all nice and blocked off. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a quick look around. I started working on the roof and I want to explain what I'm doing. I had to kind of do some investigation, but you guys can see here. All turned out really nice. So it looks really cool. Looks like it's all sheeted off and everything. I think it looks really nice on there, but on the inside, as you guys can see, you can see right through it. So I'm up here working on the top. Um, and for some reason, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, one night I was, I was trying to land up here when I was trying to put these up here, so I kept knocking myself off and eventually killed myself. You can see my terribly dead body there. But I don't know what I was thinking when I was going to put these behemoth gates down that I totally forgot about the fact that behemoth gates are 4x4. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what was going on. So basically right now what I'm doing is I'm holding off on behemoth gates. You can see this is going to still work. Um, I'm, I just had to place a couple weird... Uh, positions on here but basically that's going to still work so what I'm doing now is I'm going to go ahead and continue to get these walls or these these window pieces on here uh, the ceiling specifically so we're going to try to keep these things uh, on a straight line going across here and once I get those straight lines done I can get across the side some of these might have some weird angles but over here we're trying to get around I'm trying to get around the whole thing so you can see I can get that piece there the wrong way so basically that's what I'm working on right now is trying to get this this window to place properly. There we go. So that's one that's going to flip on me, of course. It's always fun when it does that. But just stay. One time. Just stay. So uh, I'm going to continue working on these. Uh, keep working on this whole idea of these windows and trying to get them to place the right way. And, and get that fun stuff to work on here the way I want it to. And it's just funny that like, I can't get them half the time just to place the right thing and then, you know, you get that stuff, which just enrages me. I don't know why it makes me so mad, but it's like, come on. Really? Just give me the dank window the way I want it to. So what I'm going to try to do now is flip it. So, but basically that's what we're doing. We're working on windows. There we go. That worked actually surprisingly well. So what we're going to do now is figure out a way to connect the two of these. You can get some snap points in weird directions sometimes. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get a nice good one here, so what I'm going to do is flush up this piece, and then I'm just going to round off the other edges. So, what I mean by that is, uh, this is what I was kind of worried about when I built this structure and how I built it and everything, but I think it's going to work out just fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a uh, standard square. I have some extra standard squares here, just like that. And I'll place that piece right there like that, and then we can place the two in the middle, 
and get a nice flat roof. I, I want to do some peaks in there, but it's being very difficult with the peaks. It just doesn't want to cooperate in general. So what we'll do is we'll just continue to work on this. You guys can see that's how I ended up. So I had to do some jump maneuvers. Maybe we can get this piece to actually fit in here. There we go. Oh, we had it for a second. Let's see if we can get it back. Come on, get back here. I apologize, guys, for the pause in the video. It's tough sometimes to get these in place. Not gonna place for me now. Uh, but basically, I'm just gonna continue working on these, keep placing them, and keep trying to finagle them into the edge where I want them to go. Um, I don't always expect it to go as planned, and that's why I try to plan for the unplanned, I guess would be the right word to use here on this situation. Which is to be one of those situations. So, things like this, where we're gonna be trying to finagle this thing into its position the whole time and then we got to meet the corners and it's just gonna be fun it's it's a tough build but I, I enjoy tough builds I think the challenge is necessary for a lot of this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and continue to build this ceiling I will get it and I'll check in with you guys here in a little bit once I kind of get to the next level take like these first set of ceilings in which is gonna be the most difficult but as I said I'll get you guys caught up here in a minute once I get this stuff done and get all these snap points put in the way I want them to and, and all that kind of fun stuff so we'll see you guys here in a minute welcome back guys so we are here we finally got the roof done it's taken me a long time to get the roof done you can see I've got some of my transparency down uh, however I did uh, go and get a tool to help fix this problem if none of you have ever used that plus it's the transparency gun which I'm going to show you and then we got to finish the doors and this building will be completed so you guys can see if all the transparency looking nice so let's go ahead jump up top here and go ahead and use this real quick so simply put there's transparency gun right click on something you want and then you basically can just click it and it puts the transparency on the other stuff so we can just go up here and just it's going to solve our transparencies right back it's really helpful it works out a ton now you guys can see where i had some issues now this stuff's not going to be perfectly even it's the best way you could put it is the s plus triangle sloped roofs are a nightmare they do not want to work the way you want them to always. So we're going to go ahead and put this gun away. I'm going to give you guys a quick overview uh, after I've completed this. But let's go ahead and jump back inside and we can work on our walls and doors and stuff. So uh, what we're going to end up doing is I'm going to place my walls hanging off these things, which it's not going to let me, which is fantastically amazing that it's not going to let me do that. So uh, we're going to go ahead and cheat the system here a little bit, guys. And what I'm going to do is place this stuff just like this and then I'm happy that I've got all these extra pieces in here and hopefully this doesn't crash tumble to the ground we'll find out here real quick if this is gonna tumble to the ground and it doesn't nice so you guys can see that's all we're gonna do is I'm gonna put these things in place them just like that and then we're just gonna go ahead and put these in here I want these facing the right way though did I make that face the I did uh, I couldn't remember if I did or not so then we'll just go ahead and place that in there and just build our, our walls all the way up do the same thing on this one all the way up. That one seems like it's off, so I'm probably going to pull it out. And we're going to pull these out. One, two, three, four. Grab our walls back again. Make sure they're even-ish this time. Getting out. That's even. It's pretty dang even, but it moved on me. Yay. Gotta love it when the doors do this stuff. So this is the doors, or the walls, and all those fence foundations and stuff working out wrong. There we go. We got it to work. Let's place those babies in there real quick get that back up top grab our little gun pull these doors out here we go and we don't need our spyglass but we want our spyglass get this thing to snap in just like that place our door in here just beautifully like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to steal the settings off of this door pop it on that door so then when we come around show you guys voila that looks magical. So basically guys, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and finish these last couple doors. And then I will give you guys a nice little overview of what it looks like and all that stuff. But I think this looks like an awesome bird pen. It does look like a bird pen to me, I think. It could be a cool base too, but I think it looks awesome. So we'll see here in a minute once we've completed these doors. And we've got everything up and we've got some ramps in and stuff like that. So we will have that momentarily completed. So I'll see you guys here in a moment. Alright guys, so we are back and that is it guys, we have completed it, you guys can see we've got a little ramps to get up there, get in our front doors so if we want to, we can come inside, see the beautiful views of the outside, head out of our little gaps right here, our behemoth gates, that's so I can get in, 
uh, Quetzal's in and out of there, but that's gonna be it right there, guys. It looks fantastic, I think. I think it's a, a very cool build. It goes well with our other one. We've got that nice stone platform. We worked the wood in, but now we've got that nice Avery look, I feel like. It's with that metal and the glass showing, but still having some wood structures in there and stuff. I think it turned out really, really nifty. Um, we definitely have a never building going up here. I believe this is Potatoes building going on. But, as I said, that is it for this one, guys. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. If you guys like this video, give us that thumbs up and let us know that you like it. And as always, guys, leave a comment down below. Let me know what video or what you guys think I should do next. I think the next thing I'm going to actually do is a mass teaming spree with Deadly and possibly Potato. So, uh, for those of you who are wondering, go ahead, uh, let us know, and we will do a mass taming speed. If you guys have something else you have an idea of that we should do or I should do personally, let me know. Drop it in the comments down below. And as always, guys, make sure you guys check us out on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.